welcome to the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. We are in Arlington to chat Red Devil football with first-year head coach Josh McGrain. But, Josh, this is your first year as head coach, but you've been around the program for many years. That's right. Uh, I was 14 years as an assistant coach. I uh, worked under three different head coaches and uh, first year being the head man myself. So no big changes for the guys. They must be familiar with you and, and the system. Correct. Uh, you know, I think the big thing was we had a lot of continuity uh, with me staying on. I uh, had a lot of the staff come back as well, so that, that really helped out. Who do you have on your staff this year? I, re I saw Coach Dennis Lee around, yep, so he's here. Yep, Coach Dennis Lee's back with us. He actually came over last year and helped us out. Uh, so this is his second year. You know, when I was going for the job, he was about one of the first guys that I called and said, hey, are you still on board if I get it? And he said, absolutely. Uh, Shane Cavney, who's been a head coach at Hard Northern and USV for a number of years. And then uh, Nick Embody and Jim Spire, who's been on our staff for, for a number of years as well. So a lot, a lot of familiar faces for the kids. It's Like I said, it's really going to help out. Some former head coaches, so the kids should be well-trained. How's training camp going so far? Training camp's going well. I think the kids, uh, you know, we've had a few tweaks here and there with what we do, and uh, the kids have, have really responded with what we're asking of them. Last year, another successful season for the program, lost in the regional finals, but you graduated a strong senior class. What, do you, what are the takeaways from last year? You know, uh, it, was a, it was a great group of kids, a uh, very successful group of kids that we've had, and it, I think what it's done for us is it's really made us competitive in the offseason and training camp because uh, we do, we have a lot of open spots, and, and kids have really tried to seize their opportunity to try to, to try to make their own mark on the program as well. Who are some of the guys you're looking to to fill those voids? Um, you know, there's a couple seniors that we've had that have had some experience in the past that's really going to help us out. You know, Ridge Babb, you know, he played cornerback for us as well, and he was kind of a part-time quarterback as well for us last year. He's going to step up and be the quarterback this year. Uh, Matt Glick, uh, as well, just an athlete. Um, Logan Spire, you know, he was a defensive end for us last year, predominantly defensive player, and he's going to step in and play some offense for us as well this year. So we're really looking at those kids. Uh, Jared Bilchek as well. Uh, he was a strong middle linebacker for us, and um, he'll, he'll help us out up front. Scheme-wise, anything different or just continuing with what Coach Leonard was doing? Um, like I said, a few tweaks here and there. Uh, you know, we, we've shifted more to kind of a spread look. You know, we're a little run-oriented out of the spread. Uh, I think we're going to stick to that. Um, Defensively, I think we're going to change it up to, to a 30 defense uh, just because I think it fits our personnel a little bit better. And uh, But for the most part, things are pretty much the same. How'd the summer go for the program, off-season workouts and training? Off-season was good. You know, we, we really stressed leadership. We really stressed, you know, I really brought the, the senior class in and put it on them to to get younger guys in the weight room uh, when I got the job. And we had great numbers in the weight room, guys working out. Um, Kids, kids in the off season, and obviously during summer, being here every day and helping us out, it was it was really good. Have you seen those senior seniors lead already here in camp about a weekend as we tape this? Oh, absolutely. Uh, they they've really stepped up, and it hasn't just been since camp. It's really been since about last April. They've really stepped up to the plate, uh, taking on the responsibility and understanding that that's their role as seniors, and they've done a great job with it. Playing in the BVC again, of course, always competitive, and the Blanchard Valley Conference had a successful season last year, yep. a lot of teams making the playoffs. What do you need to do to prepare for the league games? Obviously, I know you're going to be focused on the non-league games to start, but just in general, for the BVC. You know, for the BVC, we've, we've got a lot of strong teams. Uh, you know, I think we had, including us, we had five teams that made the playoffs, so it really makes it, it, it dials it up a notch every week, and you've got to be prepared uh, every week. And uh, we, we've got a lot of the same coaches back from the league. I think Corey Rawson might be the only other change of, of coaches that we have in the league. So, um, you know, it's just coming to practice every day and understanding that this week's a big week, and that's what we've got to do. Some scrimmages coming up on the schedule. Looks like a three-way with uh, Bluffton and Marion Local. That should be a good challenge. Marion Local, absolutely. You know, four-time defending state champs coming in. Uh, and Bluffton as well, another strong program. And then we've got Columbus Grove the following Friday. So it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of competitive teams, and, and we'll find out quickly where we're at. What do you look for in scrimmages? Are, position, are guys battling for positions, or is it just you want to see against some other competition? I think a little bit of both. You know, we want to see ourselves against other competition. It's finally nice to actually hit somebody else that's not our buddies. And, uh, and again, we, we've got a lot of guys that are fighting for spots, and we want kids battling it out and competing for those spots. How are the numbers this season for Arlington? Numbers are good. Uh, we've we've got 40 out. Uh, we've been about that mark. You know, mid 40s has been kind of a high high number for us for the past couple of years. But 40 kids out, uh, solid groups of kids all around. 
Arlington will open up with Anna and Ada in the non-conference. That sure. also should be a challenge. That should get you ready for the BBC play. Absolutely. Uh, you know, picking up Anna with uh, another max school that we've got. Uh, I know we played Parkway last year, picking up Anna. Uh, I know they've got a new head coach, so it's going to be it's going to be a challenge for us. And Ada, of course, great program over there. Uh, it's it's one of those things to where you want to try to prepare yourself for the postseason. you got to get those early non-conference games to get you ready for it. What's an area you'd like to see improved between now and week one? Um, I just think our overall, uh, oh, I don't want to say competitiveness because I think we're, we, we compete every day, but it's just it's always raising that level of competitiveness and never being satisfied with where we're at. And I think our kids have, have stepped up to that challenge, but I just want to see that just a little bit more. And what would you say your biggest strength is right now? Or is that still to be determined? I, I don't, um, I think our biggest strength is our leadership. You know, I think not even necessarily just the senior class. We've got a lot of juniors that have stepped up to the plate and are very vocal with what we've got and what it is that we're doing. And I think that that's really been a, been a big strength for us. Working under Coach Leonard for the seven years you did mm -hmm. and the previous two coaches before him, what have you learned from them to prepare you to be a head coach? You know, I've taken, I think, a little bit away from each of them because each of them have had their own style. And, you know, with, with Coach Leonard, he was very, you know, I. He was, he was a disciplinarian, and I think that that's what I want to hang on to as well. And Coach Metzger as well was a very strong disciplinarian. Um, you know, with Coach Oates, when I coached under him, he was he was a little bit more of a, of a riverboat gambler, I guess you want to say. You know, he was willing to roll the dice. And, you know, just being able to take those, those things from each of them because each of them were great head coaches. And, again, just trying to mold it to myself. And you're an Arlington grad Correct. yourself. Correct. The community cares so much about football. Right. What does it mean to you to be a part of that? football community and now take on the head coaching role you know it's it's an honor is what I would say um, being a graduate from here you know football is is a big deal around here my wife and I just moved to the community in December and so that's really gonna help us out and it's just we're just happy to be here and happy to be a part of the program now for you returning fewer starters than in years past mm -hmm. how is that challenging and how does that make camp different um, I'd say it just makes it a little bit more lively amongst the kids because again they are competing for those spots and again it's it's a fight day in and day out if you're not going through a drill fast enough guess what we'll pull somebody else and put somebody else in who will so i think that that's that's been the good part about it kids fighting for spots my final question for you is there a particular game you're looking forward to at this point in the season or is it just week one let's get started i think it's just week one and let's get started you know let's and again it's a little different having having this responsibility and i just you know week one's the juices will get flowing and we'll see how things go and that's just what i'm ready for well, it seems like you're up for the challenge good yep. luck this season that is coach mcgrain arlington's New head coach, time for a break here on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. When we come back, Annie Lynch is going to chat with some of the Red Devil players. Back at Arlington with the Blanchard Valley Health System warm-up. Andy Lynch with the three captains of the Red Devils this year. Three seniors. To my right's Matt Glick, running back safety. Jared Bilchek in the middle, middle linebacker and right guard. And on the end, Cody Essinger. Essinger or Essinger? Essinger. 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 All right, I'll get it by week eight. Yes, He's on the end, a wide receiver and also a cornerback. Cody, let's start with you. How's camp going with the uh, new head coach, but a guy you guys are familiar with? Uh, camp's going great. Um... I mean, we really have a fast tempo, and we've been working hard, so we love being here. Love being here. Love being here. It's yes, a good sir. day for it. You know, they're mowing the field. Does yep. that make you think Friday nights we're getting yeah. here, we're getting closer? We, uh, we got a look out on the field yesterday, and you know it makes us hungry to be out there. It's a lot softer than being out here on the rock hard <laughs> grass out here, so we're looking forward to it. And I love the old goal post. How, how old is that thing, would you say? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I mean, 70, it's, it's, it's 75 old. years old, maybe? Yeah. It gives you a little flavor, though, for yeah. Arlington football. Yep. Yep. Been, been a great couple, couple years. I mean, two historic years for you guys. Uh, how do you want to build on it this year? Um, you know, I'd like to uh, have a good regular season. You know, uh, we're always working towards BBC champs. I mean, it's been since 1987 since we've seen that. Hmm. So uh, we're going to look for a good playoff run just like usual. Jared, how's this team feel different in a good way from the past years? Not comparing, you know, they, they didn't do this well. But how, what's the strength maybe of this team or, or how's this team different? I would say leadership. We uh, have emphasized on leadership all year this year from before June. Even when school was back in session, we still – looked at leadership and how good we could be as leaders and how we could push the younger guys to be better. What are some of the things you guys did 
in particular? Did you read a book or just sessions? Uh, um, we broke off into separate teams within the team, and those seniors were responsible for their group, like to get them in the weight room, find them a ride if they needed one, get them to practice, and make sure that they knew practice wasn't a time to screw off. It was a time to practice and get better at football. Matt, Arlington's a running football team. Might see a little more pass this year. Probably not, but uh, you're going to carry the load, the backfield. You know, Excited for that role? Oh, yeah, I'm excited for it. We're probably going to get it on the edge a little more, but, yeah, I'm excited to get running. Austin Reddick obviously had a great few years. You, you were with him right there as well, but what, what are some things you learned from him maybe? Uh, a lot of – a lot of – he was good. He was dang good. <laughs> he was I good. Mean, he – I learned a lot of running. He, he's good at hitting holes, getting, okay. getting going. All right, well, good luck to Arlington this year. We'll talk with three more of the Red Devils here on the Blanchard Valley Health System Preview. Final quarter here from Arlington on the Blanchard Valley Health System warm-up. Andy Lynch alongside three more of the seniors. To my right is Christian Martin, wide receiver and linebacker. Uh, in the middle, Patrick Kessler, tackle and defensive end. And on the end, Grant Heaster, wide receiver and quarterback. Grant, let's start with you. How do you feel uh, camp's going so far? I know you're itching for those uh, scrimmages at least in the week one, but how's camp been? It's been good. We've been working really hard. You know, it's working hard. We're, uh, we have upped the conditioning a lot this year. Okay. So... We expect a lot of passing, like we said, and be a good year. Couple head coaches along with your new head coach on the staff, Coach Lee, Coach Cavaney. Is that adding an interesting perspective these last couple years, having different head coaches with that experience? I don't, I don't really see any change. Okay. I mean, there's a lot more passing this year, a little less running, but that's about it. Patrick Kessler, tackle, defensive end. How are the lines looking? Oh, we're a little bit smaller this year, but we're quicker, so it should. Uh, help us in our new schemes and stuff so yeah the last two years your line's been huge how, how what did you learn from those guys oh you learned to be aggressive and <laughs> not to give up and just keep going at them especially against the scout team you can't just go soft against them you got to keep going and just going as hard as you can makes it better every day uh, you were fighting for your life some days weren't you practice was a battle <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no question about it. Christian Martin uh, used to be Riverdale was the opener, but since they've joined the BVC, you don't play them till week five. Is that still the big rivalry game on the schedule? Uh, Riverdale? Yeah. Uh, no, Liberty Benton. That's the big one. Always. All the history with uh, goes back to that. Last year was such a, an exciting game here that did go to the Eagles. Uh, that's what you're looking forward to. Looking to tie up that uh, record. Okay. That's a good one, and it's a long, long rivalry as well. And, and a good first two matchups uh, when you're talking going to Anna the first week and then Ada uh, here for the home opener. You guys excited for those two uh, big non-conference games? Yeah, it's going to be a tough challenge, and we look forward to it. What are some of the things this team needs to work on between now and week one? Uh, just pulling the team together. You know, we have a lot of young guys, and uh, you know, we have a lot of inexperienced players, and we just need to get them on board with everything. Patrick, coach talked a lot about leadership and really ingraining in you guys leadership even back in April, you know, right after he got the job. What kinds of things have you seen uh, the seniors do to lead? Um, since we instituted like a new four teams where we separate all the players, mm -hmm. uh, it's really brought together not really the whole team, but like you have like teams of 11 and then each one has a senior leader mm -hmm. and they are able to lead that team instead of trying to do a whole 50 players. Instead, you got like 11 or 12 on your team. So it's really helped bring in small groups. Very cool. Senior. Arlington getting ready for a big year as they bring that family aspect once again. Well, thanks to Matt Finkel and Amber Chambers and Ben Phipps for bringing you this edition of the warm-up brought to you by Blanchard Valley Health System. We'll see you next time here on WSN.